Hey, Mark here. Today I want to talk about what is wrong with having free will. Okay, so today I want to talk about what's wrong with having free will. Mankind, humans, people, us, me, you, we all have free will. We have the ability to decide what we want to do. We can reason and make the decision to do something. The problem is that oftentimes things that we do to uh, move us toward achieving a goal, right? they become difficult. It's hard, especially if it's a very worthwhile goal, right? The work can be really hard. So if it's hard, especially at the beginning, we often choose to stop, okay? If an animal walks up to a fire and has never seen a fire before and walks up to, to try to sniff it and it gets hot against their nose and they, they know, oh, I'm not doing that anymore. But what if something that you needed was under a proverbial fire, right? Or under a very hot rock and you went to get near that rock to move it. Let's say it was some life-saving cure, right? You're gonna save the life of somebody close to you and it was under that hot rock. You get near the hot rock and you realize, oh, that's painful, I'm not gonna do it. Well, we have the ability to say, you know what? The thing I'm working for is more valuable than the injury I might sustain from moving that hot rock. So we choose to move the rock. Well, the problem is by having the free will, when we meet some discomfort, when we meet resistance, oftentimes because as humans, we're pain aversive. We don't wanna go through pain. We don't wanna go through discomfort. We don't want to, uh, to get outside our comfort zone. So we often choose not to do something because it's hard. Well, guess what? Life is hard pretty much life is gonna kick you in the gut and and throw things at you that you're not gonna like okay we all deal with loss we all lose loved ones at some point in our life we we're all gonna have some tragedy um, befall us every every one of us is gonna deal with with some circumstance that's painful okay you might it might be something small like stubbing your toe it doesn't matter. We all deal with hardships. We all deal with pain. The question is, what are you getting out of your life for that pain? You can't run around your whole life and, and avoid pain. You can't avoid discomfort. But that's what a lot of people try to do. They say, well, I want to do this. And they, and they start. And all of a sudden, it's difficult. So they quit. They give up. Well, guess what? If you're going to deal with some kind of pain in your life. The question is, what are you going to get out of it? You can go through pain and achieve your goal. As Eric Thomas says, you're already in pain. Don't, don't come and cry to me to quit. You shouldn't be crying to quit. You should cry to keep going because you're already in pain. So keep going, keep pushing because on the other side of pain, on the other side of that discomfort is success. Unfortunately, way too many people don't achieve that success because things get difficult, they get outside their comfort zone, they don't want to be there. So they stop, they give up. And giving up and trying to avoid pain only leads to a life of mediocrity and settling and allowing other people to set your goals and set the parameters of your life. It's your life. You should decide what you're gonna get for that pain because it's coming I promise you that that's a truth that's a that's a marked truth and sometimes the truth hurts you're gonna have pain in your life think about what you really want think about what really makes you happy go through some pain go through some discomfort to achieve that you know you think about how many people you can inspire just by just by accomplishing what you what you set out to do just by accomplishing the goal of of doing something that really makes you happy that alone is going to inspire other people to keep pushing and to do and do what they need to do to achieve their dream so it's not just about you we're all going to deal with pain 
and we can all wallow in it and avoid it and sit back and be comfortable and share our, our lack of experience, share our comfort stories with countless other people that are in the same situation. Or we can push through and share our stories of success with somebody else and help them set themselves free as well. So anyway, rambling a little bit, but uh, that's my video for today. Hopefully you got some value out of it. Uh, if you did, please like and share. Uh, comment below, tell me what you think. Did, do you agree? Do you think I'm off my rocker? Let me know, post a comment below and uh, you can download a free chapter from my book, Beat the Curve. Just go to my website, marktarsenault.com slash freebtc. Download a free copy and uh, hope to hear from you. I'd love to send you that. And in the meantime, we'll talk to you again soon. Take care and have a fantastic day and get out of your comfort zone. All right, take care.